Naomi from Breville is joining me today and we're going to be making a curry. Yes. Usually people just buy the curry paste because it's easier, because at home they think, oh, it's too hard to chop everything mm -hmm. up, but... Food processor. Food processor is the way to go. Quick and easy. And we're going to cook it in a slow cooker. Uh, so we're going to get really have the time for the flavours to get into the curry yeah. and it'll be divine. And right. we're using our easy sear um, slow cooker mm -hmm. so we can sear off the meat on the stove. So if you want to get that on yes. and... Um, I've got that on already. And yeah. this is great because it's got... I won't burn myself. No. Really nice. Okay, so you want to get it nice and hot. We've got... We're using uh, chuck steak today. Now, I like chuck steak. It is a cheaper cut of meat mm -hmm. and it has that little bit of extra fat within it, but it handles the slow, slow cooking without oh, yeah. drying out and toughening up. All right, while you're doing that, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make the uh, curry paste. So we have uh, the purple shallot. So I've got six of those, so mm -hmm. we'll just pop them into the processor. I'm just using the smaller bowl of the food processor. So we want to use the fine blade. Okay. Now I've got the large red chilies. They're not as hot as the smaller chilies, um, but and I'm not taking the seeds out. But if you if you don't like it as hot, you can just take them out. Plenty of seeds. So. I'm just giving them a rough chop because the blade inside will get them. So you better. could use the bigger bowl, I guess, but it yep. wouldn't be as fine. Is that why we put the, mm -hmm. the, the extra one in to get it really like a nice puree consistency? Yeah, okay. definitely. And I'm just going to season this with um, a little bit of salt. Okay. So just getting them nice and brown. You don't want to cook them the whole way through. So we've got um, six cloves of garlic, a piece of ginger. You want about a six to centimetre piece of ginger, just roughly taking off the skin. And just give it a rough slice. And throw that in. Okay. Mm, it smells nice. And it? we've got some dry um, coriander and dried cumin powder. Mm -hmm. Oops. And then about, so about a tablespoon each of those ones. Okay. All right, so popping the lid on. I'm just going to give that a good process. About two tablespoons of oil. How are you going there? Looking good. It's, this is great. It's because it's non-stick, so it doesn't stick too much on no, the bottom. No, and you so won't need nice to colour. use as much oil either. Yeah. I've got these nice kestrel potatoes, which are, uh, this, when you're cooking for it really slowly, you don't want a potato that's going to be all flowering, crumble up. Mm -hmm. These ones are great because they'll hold their shape Fantastic. In, the, in the whole cooking process. So. Perfect. Okay, okay so they've got some really nice colour on this. Fantastic. And then we're just going to put this curry paste in and cook this off for a couple of minutes, just until the um, the oil, uh, this, the all the spices and everything mm, become fragrant. Can I smell of that? Yeah. Just, whoops. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So straight into that, and just cook that off for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. I'll make sure I keep an eye on this. I won't burn it, I promise. Okay. And then we'll come back and I guess we put it all into the, the cooker. Yep. It just lets bubble away for a little bit, doesn't it? Fantastic. All right. Okay, that's perfect. Right. You know it's ready when you can start smelling all the aromats. It smells good. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay. Lift this into the slow cooker mm -hmm. and we'll add the meat. And all those juices are important. Oh, definitely. It'll add like, flavour. Add all the flavour. And our potato and sweet potato. Uh, two cinnamon quills, mm -hmm. so we're just going to put those in. We'll just give it a bit of a stir. Okay, so now you could even add a couple more potatoes into this mm. if you wanted to. Mm. All right, and so just a cup of water. So it, you think it's not going to be enough with a slow cooker, but with a slow cooker, um, and we've got the tight fitting lid it retains all the moisture so you've got no evaporation that happens during the cooking process. So you don't only need to add just a little bit because all the juices that will come out of the meat will stay in the dish mm. and you'll get all that beautiful flavour. So we'll just put that on. That should be low. I do seven or eight hours and then on a higher setting if you want to cook a little bit faster, about five to six hours. So it just depends on, on how long you want to have it cooked for. 
And then once it's finished, uh, about an hour before it's finished cooking, we'll add some other ingredients to okay. it. Okay. This is great also. You can leave it, go to work. Mm -hmm. And when you get home, it's basically a dinner meal. on the table. And really nice. Okay, shall we see what it looks mm -hmm. like? Ooh, looking good. You know what you can do with this one is that you can just serve it straight to the Put table. The table. So, so there's a little, little bowl there. So that meat is nice and soft and tender at this stage. Mm, lovely. And this, I love the sweet potato. Mm. The, the, you know, between the sweet potato and the potato just gives yeah. you a nice contrast of textures. Yeah. There we go. A little bit more garnish of that fresh coriander on top. Naomi, that's a really nice classic Indonesian dish. And the point of this is it's so easy to make your own curry paste. Yep. Pop it in the food processor, really fast to do, and then slow cooking, a nice way for a winter's meal. Perfect.